friends, Sarah here from graceinmyspace.com. Today I'm going to do a little DIY craft project with you. We're going to take some wood rings, unfinished, just plain craft rings, and we're going to turn them into a bit of a decor. Now I'm sure that you have seen these wooden chain links at all the different decor stores. They're not super expensive to begin with, but I found a way to make four or five chains for about $15 as opposed to one chain for 25 or up. So this is just a fun little project. It could be fun for Christmas gifts. You could also make super duper long ones and make them into like a garland for your mantle for Christmas decor or a uh, necklace. So we're gonna take the ring and we're gonna cut it. Like so. So I used a handsaw and I cut, can you see it? I cut a little teeny slit in each one and that's gonna be how I'm gonna connect them. Then I'm going to use some crazy glue and we're going to glue it back together and go from there. Please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. Okay, first one down. So I started with a solid one that you don't need to cut. You know what, I think I could have only cut, now that I'm doing this, one. I only would have needed to cut the, the big links like every other. <laughs> Oh man, I only need to do every other. <laughs> so I'm gonna rebuild this using the whole pieces because you only, see, you only need to use one to get on both sides. That's way better. See that? And then we have a lot less seams to do. All right. We have only four seams to do instead of seven. Now I'm gonna glue. Put some glue in there. Get a really, really strong clamp on it just to hold it in place because the wood has gaps in it. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do to fix the really big gaps. All right, day two, we have our chain length, but from cutting each piece with the saw, let's see if I can show you. You see the gap? That's the, that's the width of the saw blade, and so it left a gap where I cut it. I did end up finding that if you cut halfway through and then break it the rest of the way, the break actually was a better seam than the cut side. So I ended up sawing halfway through until I could break it, and then that worked a lot better. But now that I have gaps from the saw blade, I'm gonna use wood filler and fill those so that you don't see the seam. This is another reason why it was helpful for me to figure out that you only need to cut every other one because then you have less seams to fill for your final product. The filler is kind of old and crumbly. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna fill each seam. I'm just using my fingers because it's really a, a small space and it's unnecessary to try and use a putty knife or something traditional pushing it in as much as possible and then smoothing out around the edge. And then once it's all fully dry, we'll sand it. All right, the links are dry. We're gonna sand up so that this is completely smooth. And then I decided I'm gonna paint it. You could stain it too, but I think I want them to be black. All right, the final step is to paint it. I could have stained, I could have painted, I'm gonna paint it, I want it to be a matte black. And I have just taken a hanger and put it on this tree branch so that I can suspend it and be able to spray all the sides at once rather than laying it flat and having to flip 
and then causing probably some smudges in the paint um, doing it that way. So this way it's just hanging and I can spray the whole thing at once. me in the past what is the purpose of these it's just decor <laughs> that's all there is to it it's not everybody's style but I think it's just kind of like a fun architectural piece it's like the same as displaying a sculpture or a trinket it's just decorative that's all there is to it if you like this look but you don't want to do the DIY portion I'll also link up for you in the description some purchasable options already made and they're pretty affordable as well I hope you enjoyed seeing this project come together. Obviously I painted mine black, but you could stain these any color that you want. You could leave them natural, you could paint them white, you could paint them any color. Um, and it's just a really versatile project to customize and make it your own. Thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure and hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.